I'm in Edinburgh today, joined by Tina Intelman, who is the Estonian ambassador to the UK. Estonia is often referred to as the digital nation because it's so ahead of the curve in regards to digital public services for its citizens. How can the UK learn from Estonia? Well, first of all, uh, we did it for ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we did it because we uh, restored the independence of Estonia and we wanted to create a country where citizens enjoy interacting with the state. They enjoy even paying taxes because it's so easy. And, uh, we're, and we wanted to set up a system that we could afford. And later on, when we saw that other countries started being interested, we set up also an e-governance academy, the purpose of which is to go around and offer our experience to other countries. Of course, you know, the Estonian model cannot be taken over 100% by any country. Mm -hmm. Every country has different circumstances. Uh, but of course, you know, the, the, the main issue there is a trust in the government and, and the trust that the government manages well the, uh, the, the data that is collected because all that data uh, interacts with each other. So there needs to be trust and there needs to be some kind of identification of the person uh, so that the data can be linked to that person. So you're referring to their citizen identity and yes. maybe taking that that feature any country could and should adopt. But if you if you think about it this way, every person has a passport or some kind of I, I identity, yes, right? Yes. So, but it's on paper. So, mm -hmm. how to make this same identity or similar identity an e identity that could be uh, used across all systems? That's the question. Estonia established internet access as a basic human right really early on. What have you seen have been the effects of this and what is the next big idea? Uh, well, yes, internet access for us uh, is, is considered like a human right, mm -hmm. really. And I mean, uh, uh, everywhere where you travel, even if you travel to, to another country and then you go to a hotel, the first thing you, you check is, is there internet? Yes. And how fast the internet is. What the next thing is, is that we are looking in, uh, at the scale up of the European Union. And, uh, and, and one of the things that, that we talk about and that others talk about uh, now quite extensively is the free movement of data mm -hmm. and, uh, and the identification that we do through electronic systems, that, that identification should be also used in other countries. So if Portugal uses electronic signature for its citizens, and Estonia uses electronic signature for its citizens. Why cannot I do something with my electronic signature in Portugal if we are the joint European Union? I think that, you know, what we have done in Estonia, probably some of that could be done on the European scale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, is, that, is, that, is, that is quite big. Mm -hmm. Because also in the European Union, we have free movement of persons, of, of services, of goods. So, so why in, in the you know, electronic field we are still so protective and, and we, we do not want to think big? So we've all heard of Skype. What other tech companies were found, have been founded in Estonia? Uh, the, the state is actually uh, trying to create a, a, an enabling environment for all kinds of in innovation. I just applied for e-residency and also being able Good. to... Good. Um, set up a company cross-border just means that the tech technology industry is only going to grow from there. Yeah, why don't we offer also non-citizens and non-Estonian physical residents some e-residency mm -hmm. so that they could use some of our systems. Um, first of all, it's uh, of course, um, you know, it's good for them, but it's also good for us. Do you think it might get too crowded? Or is that, is that possible? No, 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 it's not too crowded yet. We are, I mean, no. of course, you know, it's not physical, but, yes. but, let's, but let's put it this way. Our, our territory is like Denmark, uh, and we have one, only one million people. So even if the e-residents want to come to us and visit us very often, we have space. Do you think Scotland has an advantage being a similarly small nation? Well, I think that Scotland has done a lot of things. And, um, and we just had a discussion about, uh, about the savings and, uh, and about being practical because, you know, running the government or running your structures is always the issue of cost also. For us, as I explained, we want you to do something that is cost effective. 
So Scotland also is looking at that, and we had a discussion about e-health, mm -hmm. uh, how uh, how uh, 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 all these uh, uh, new technologies could be used in healthcare, and uh, and I see that we could actually learn from each other. <laughs>